So Paul would have journeyed to Jerusalem carrying his gift, hoping that both he could supply some blessing to the Jerusalem church that was struggling and was poor, uh, also so that he could score some points and he could show that he's not against the people of the Jews and that he's for the unity of the Jews and the Gentiles and the gospel and the Holy Spirit. And so he comes to the temple and he cleanses himself in some ritual baths that are right in front of the temple. In fact, right behind me are the southern steps into the temple that the general public would have used to get in. So Jesus would have walked these steps. Uh, all the disciples would have walked these steps and Paul would have used these steps to get into the city in order to go and um, make a sacrifice and, and uh, worship the Lord there uh, before he met with the leaders to offer his gift. And so here's the ritual baths just outside of the city walls. They've uncovered about 51 ritual baths that are, were for the purpose of allowing people to cleanse themselves to come. So Jesus undoubtedly cleansed himself in one of these baths and so did Paul. He also shaved his head and he made a vow. In seven days he purified himself before he went into the temple. But it was here that Paul would have come into the temple and then some of the Jews would have seen him there and would have um, arrested him and made accusations and would have started his journey to become um, tried for his life um, with the local authorities, the Sanhedrin and the governor of this area. Um, and we'll see that site in just a minute where he would have been tried by the Roman authorities. But it was here that he was arrested and then he made an appeal to the Peter, to the people, after he was arrested. He told, he told the Roman centurion who had arrested him um, in Greek, and then the centurion was uh, surprised that he spoke Greek, thinking that he was some kind of revolutionary from Egypt. And so he said, oh, and then he found out he was a Roman citizen and he lets him speak to the people. And it's here that Paul first uh, gives an appeal to the people of Israel for the gospel. Um, and it's kind of seen as his first trial among many trials that leads him eventually to Rome. What a great spot to see. I'll show you the steps and go up. You can see the steps. So what an amazing place to be. Not only did Paul walk in this space, but so did Jesus and everybody else that we would have seen in biblical times as they entered into the temple that Herod built. I'm walking in the Antonio Palace, which is the palace that Herod the Great, who was a prolific builder, built next to the second temple, which he also built. He didn't trust the Jews and thought that they would revolt against him at some point or another, so he built himself a fortress right next to the temple so that he could kind of keep an eye on what was going on there. And so this is the place, most likely, that Paul was brought by a Roman soldier and where they would have initially questioned him and found out that um, he was a Roman citizen and uh, they would have had maybe the Sanhedrin come here and actually meet or Paul would have went into the temple where the Sanhedrin met on a daily basis in the temple courts. But this is the space that Paul would have seen in his trial, um, at least before the Roman governor of this area and where he would have pleaded his case uh, and where he would have been referred on to Felix up in Caesarea. And so in this space, Paul walked and Paul was pleading for his life. He had a chance to speak the gospel and um, share it with some of the Roman authorities and the Jewish authorities at the time so that they would hear the good news of Jesus Christ through his words and through his testimony in this space. So after Paul was arrested in Jerusalem and tried to rid there, he was moved up here to Caesarea, right on the coast of the Mediterranean, to where Herod had a palace, and this is where the Roman governor would have come. And so Paul would have been held right here, in these cells most likely. This is right underneath the palace was, kind of like bottom level of the palace. This is where the uh, prison, the uh, kind of junjun, or the uh, prison cells were. With a hole, they would have dropped him down in. This is likely the spot where Paul actually was, which was being held waiting for his trial, that he would have faced with the Roman governor over here. 